Hi everyone, my name is Kiran and today I'm going to show you two tips and uh, might be it's a very helpful and I've seen some of the people like uh, how to get the public IP address from public IP prefix. Another tip is uh, how is a flag form as a service, which IP address ranges. Sometimes is a uh, like most of the scenarios we can see on-prem to Azure platform, a hybrid cloud environment and they want, um, you know, whitelisted uh, platform as a service, IP address ranges, so that they can able to access from on-premise to Azure, Azure to on-premises. This way, it's uh, required to whitelist the IP address. These two things, how to identify them, that uh, platform as a service, public IP address, that region-wise or service-wise, Azure public IP address, how to get it. And um, public IP address prefix also, you are going to understand. Before that, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like, really like my video, please like and give the comments. And it's uh, very encouraging to me. Thank you. And let's jump into the first public IP address prefix. And uh, from that, how to get public IP address. So let's, uh, uh, let's first of all, we'll try to deploy the public IP address prefix. When we'll use it, this public IP address prefix, Whenever we required the sequence of public IP address, sequence of public IP address when is a required. Suppose I'm providing the name is a 01 like that and that specific region, any region and uh, Microsoft, their own public IP address, they are going to provide it to us and maximum 16 and 842 like that. And if you want to your own IP address, like bring your own public IP address. And at that time, we need to select the custom IP prefix. So Microsoft owned IP address right now. And I'm selecting the two IP address required. That is a regional and uh, nothing I'm changing and review and created. Now, once is a deploy, two means two sequence of public IP address I'm getting. So, that sequence means very simple. Suppose example 20 dot, 10 dot, 50 dot, something uh, 10 is available. And next sequence IP address 11, 20 dot, 10 dot, 50 dot, 11. So how many IP address you are choosing accordingly, that sequence of IP address will get it like this. If it is a four, like this way, we'll get it. So now I'm going to show you now public IP address prefix is a deployment completed guys. Just a minute, go to the resource and we can see there is a public IP address prefix. What is the IP address starting from? I'm getting from this and 20.1.234.214. This is the one IP address and second IP address I will get 215 ending with 215. You can see zero of two, two IP address from this allocation and how many IP address are utilized allocated to the any virtual mission, storage, uh, sorry, not storage, firewall, load balancer or firewall, any other things uh, associated accordingly. Right now I'm not deploy. So how to attach to the firewall or how to attach the load balancer? Directly public IP address prefix, we can't attach it guys go to add IP address, we should provide it. Suppose this IP address I'm going to attach to the firewall. So I can provide it firewall IP. So just click on add, that's it. And saving the public IP address. From this prefix, one IP address I'm getting, that is a, my firewall purpose, I'm going to utilize it. So that's why I'm created. One more IP address also same like second IP address also I want to attach to the my firewall. Yes, again, click on add IP address, again, provide the name and click on created. So one more public address also going to create it. How to attach it? Very simple in the firewall, there is a public address on top of that, add public address from that place and drop down list, we can get it. So I can show you public address. One is a firewall IP, what is IP? Previously, what I mentioned, that IP address, it will show you here, 214, you can see. Suppose I'm going to create a firewall. So how to utilize it? If I don't have any existing resources, 
and from this especially i'm not going to deploy just i'm showing and drop down list you can select it that firewall ip 214 ending with the 214 so once is the deploy one more ip address you want to attach it yes we can attach it 215 we can attach it that way sequence of ip address we can get it and we can utilize it good and second point what we need to discuss i mentioned especially platform services related public address back end microsoft is a maintain that public address for platform as services like app services cosmos db and storage uh, like Azure Active Directory, like all the, like um, what are the platform as a services is available. All the things, it's uh, over the internet, by default over the internet is available. By default over the internet means they are allocating so many public address for that. Region wise or entire global wise, they are allocating the so many public IP address. In this scenario, when is a real time on Princess Firewall, I want elevate this public IP address, especially this Azure Active Directory or Cosmos DB, some app services or something storage, you want allow it. So like FQDN wise, we can allow it as well as public IP address ranges wise also, we can allow it. Sometimes is a very, very important and that is a Microsoft maintain as a service tag. As a service tag, Microsoft is a maintain. But every time going and downloading and the searching and it's not easy and very complicated. Sometimes uh, you found some logs, this public address is a blocking. That is Azure public address or not. How can I know? Simple, in this website, you can see guys, agservicetags.azurewebsite.net. This is a website. If you go to the IP look, IP lookup. In this, so previously I searched with this IP address. Suppose I'm searching, this is a public address. Suppose if you have different public address, you can provide it and look up. Just look up and it will show you. You can see guys, this is a public Azure DevOps related and East to East to region. This is a range they are using address prefix wise. From this range, we are getting this IP address. This is a way, very simple way we are getting and uh, very easy to understand uh, this public address, which Azure service related, which region related, and easily we can get it, guys. And one more thing, you want all public address ranges, that specific service wise. Go to about top, you can see here, explore. Click on explore, and which service related. Suppose I want is a, some Cosmos DB, Azure Cosmos DB, click on. And again, Azure Cosmos DB, all global, global wise, you can click on, or specific region wise. Suppose I want East to East 2, click on that one, and you can see, all address prefix microsoft backend especially in this region cosmos db dot e east us2 on this region these many public address ranges they are using they are using guys this public address sometimes is a required to whitelisted so especially for security and firewall and so many places we are going to whitelisted so this is the way easy way to get them this uh addresses for which service, which region like that, easy to get it, guys. This is a one, it's a one more tip. If you like my video, please, and like, as well as give the comments. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And thank you, guys. And I will come with the, another video. Thank you.